Hello everybody, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. So last episode, I think we finally got the new capital gains abstraction in place. Um, and now what we need to do is we need to check to make sure it worked. So, um, oh, and I just realized, as usual, I've been forgetting to uh, check in to, uh, to get. So let me do that. Okay, so let's run our Java app. Okay, here it is. Now what we want to do is we want it to work the same way as the spreadsheet. And we've gone to terrible, terrible lengths to make sure that it will. And um, in order to make it work like the spreadsheet, what we need to do is withdraw $715 every year. So that shouldn't be too hard. Um, and I think that's what I want to do next, is make sure that we're withdrawing uh, $715 every year. So let's, um, let's give that a shot. So we'll shut everything else down. And stock market year, I think, does what it needs to do. Um, let's see. Maybe we've got some stuff that we can do, but it doesn't need to happen right now. So, but stock market needs to withdraw the correct amount every, every year. And I think that's just a matter of right here inside of our, inside of our calculation, we should probably uh, go ahead and do that withdrawal. So, Let's, let me just put in a little spike to see if I understand this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for years I dot withdraw dollars 200. I'm intentionally using a different amount because I, I don't want to just do the desk check. I want to, I want to write a test around it. But I just want to make sure that this is doing what I think it's going to. So if I run this, I should see the 200 yeah, 267, which um, I would guess is our capital gain. So that's great. So we're seeing, we're seeing what we need to see there. So that's really cool. Um, great. Okay, so now I'm going to take that back out. All our tests should still pass. Good. So now we need to get this in properly. And what I want to do is... Um, is two things. Uh, first, I think I want to say so we've got no cumulative rounding error in interest calculations. We're going to want to write a little piece of code to do, um, let's see, capital gains tax calculation works the same way as spreadsheet. And I'm just going to mark this as, as to do for now. But I wanted to get it in there while I was, while my, while I was in my head. Um, but the main thing I want to do is I think what I want to do is say void um, stock market withdraws a standard amount every year. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And the way I'm going to do that is going to be really screwy. <laughs> I'm just going to add it here at the end. Um, and it does bother me, by the way, that this constructor is getting so huge. But um, I, I think this is temporary. It's going to need to be extracted. And the only reason I'm not doing it yet is because I know that when we get into the UI and doing st some more sophisticated stuff, um, our understanding of how a stock market needs to work is going to change. And I don't want to make the design too sophisticated yet because that will just have to be ripped out. So, um, so let's say that rather than withdrawing 715, let's just withdraw 10. 
And then we'll say that the um, because that way we won't run into any any problems with withdrawing too much or something like that. And then let's say uh, for for year zero we expect to have withdrawn 10 and or sold 10 yeah let's say that so let's do that okay so this test is introducing all kinds of stuff that isn't in place yet um, and that's good. So I want to have on stock market a new parameter, which is the amount to sell every year. Notice I'm changing my terminology. Um, and that's because I want to, well, and then we've got this total sold idea. I don't want to have to recalculate the capital gains and everything else every time because if that changes or something like that, then this test has to change. And also I already had a note to give access to have the amount sold in a year. So let's set this aside for a moment and go back to stock market year and add in this concept of uh, total sold. Okay, that of course doesn't exist. That's going to fail. Now we can have it return new dollars zero. That should pass. Let's put this up here. Okay, and now uh, we can sell something or withdraw. Let's withdraw three thousand, and we're going to rename that to sell because that's going to fit better. That's also on my list of things to do. Um, Yep, that failed. Now that should do it. Yep, and then um, I'll withdraw another thing, but that should be enough. That should work because I'm really just using existing code. Yeah. Okay. So
I'll go refactor everything to use that. And while we're at it, um, modify withdraw to be cell, which will be nice. And this I'm going to change to appreciation rate. And this I'll change to appreciation rate. And this I'll change to appreciation rate. Actually, I, I'm going to put that back as interest rate. That just, uh, I know it's not entirely correct, but I think I like the way it reads a little better. So, yeah, I mean, okay, that should still all work. There, now, Back here, I do have a total sold, uh, but I don't have this new parameter yet, which is okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in. See, that's going to be dollars. It's going to be sell every year. And it's going to default to zero. Okay, that should still all work. Now this test should fail. You know, expected $10, but what zero? So now I can go into here and say years zero dot sell. Um, sell every year, which is a lousy name, but best I've got. And uh, if I go to here, there we go. And Eclipse really wants to make these things final. So I'll make them all final. Or can I not do that? I guess I can't. Um, there, that passes. And now, of course, we want all the years to to do the same thing. doesn't work because we haven't coded it yet, but now it should work. There we go. Okay, so now we can double check to see that everything works properly. I don't think we've got enough time in this video to do that. Maybe we do. Um, we're going to want to sell 715, and we're going to assert that the ending balance is 560. Let's see if it works. Oh, it does not work. Okay, so something's wrong somewhere. That's where we're going to pick up next time. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.